FBI agents in Atlanta are searching for a fugitive with somebody who might have ties to the valley. David Young is facing charges of drug trafficking conspiracy tied to a street gang calling themselves the Ghost Face Gangsters. Agents suspect he could be hiding out here in the Phoenix area or possibly might uh, have been able to get across the border and be down into the Rocky Point area in Mexico. He is known to go by the nickname of Chaos or his middle name of Dwayne. He's six feet tall, has several, as you can tell, distinct tattoos on his face and neck. Anybody with info is urged to contact the FBI. And today, a grand jury has indicted four people in the murder of Preston Lord. We are going to be relentless about this, and we're not going to stop until we have everybody in custody. We're not done. We have more to do. These four indictments are just the start. What has happened here today is a massive step forward in the quest for justice for Preston Lord. Right now at nine, justice for Preston Lord. Four months after the team was beaten to death at a Halloween party, four people have been indicted. And we have team coverage tonight. Fox 10's Kenzie Beach is talking to members of the community. But first, Ellen McNamara has details on the arrests. Ellen. And guys, this is the news that so many people here in the East Valley have been hoping for. Families have been demanding justice ever since Preston Lord was murdered back in October. Well, tonight, four people under arrest, indicted. They're behind bars. They are charged with first degree murder and kidnapping. And we have those names for you. They are 18 year old William Owen Hines. He was actually already in jail. 17 year old Talon Renner, 20 year old Dominic Turner, and 17 year old Talon vigil. While there are 17 year olds listed here, they are charged as adults. And tonight, all four are behind bars for the murder of Preston Lord. We just heard from Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell. Take a listen. Today, a grand jury has indicted four people in the murder of Preston Lord. And before I discuss the details of these indictments, let rem me remind you that we are talking about the death of a 16 year old boy. As I have said in the past, I have spoken with his family and they are in agony. The loss of a child is unimaginable for most of us, but to live it is a whole new level of horror. Preston was murdered at a Halloween party, jumped and beaten. Then in late December, Queen Creek police submitted seven names to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office who they believed needed to be charged with his homicide. 2,000 pieces of evidence, including 600 videos, were handed over to the County Attorney's Office. Many in the community wanted arrests to happen quickly. But tonight, County Attorney Mitchell said that they were meticulous because when she goes to court, she wants a conviction. This process also involved an investigative grand jury. That's a little bit different than a traditional grand jury. They can actually call in and hear from witnesses before they decide to make an indictment or not. Here's what Mitchell said, as well as Queen Creek Police Chief Randy Bryce. My team has invested hundreds of hours logging and reviewing evidence. You've heard me say before that the police reports numbered in the thousands of pages and that there were more than 600 pieces of video evidence that my prosecutors watched over and over and over. But as County Attorney Mitchell has said, we're not done. We have more to do. These four indictments are just the start and we're going to continue to work to finish up this case and bring a, a, a whole conclusion to what we're doing. Happened, then arrests were made. The home was owned by a trust in the name of Becky Renner, and the Renner name has come up in multiple cases of teen violence in the East Valley. But again, that was for Talon Renner earlier today in Gilbert. Now, while we do know that four are now charged with first degree murder and they are behind bars, you have to keep in mind here that more arrests certainly could happen. Remember that seven names were referred to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office for recommended charges, so there are still three names 
names out there uh, that we did not hear about tonight here in Queen Creek. So again, more arrests could happen as this investigation continues. And we also asked Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell and also the police chief here in Queen Creek if parents of some of these kids and some of these younger adults involved could be charged. And that is certainly a possibility. Mm -hmm. Guys. Yeah, Ellen, thank you for that. We appreciate it. We're still following major developments in the Preston Lord murder case. A total of six people now have been indicted in the fatal beating of the Queen Creek teen. And we're learning more now about those suspects. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum joining us live now from the county attorney's office with the latest tonight. Justin. Mark, Christina County Attorney Rachel Mitchell announced two more people indicted today. This comes a little more than four months after that Halloween party in the East Valley turned into a tragedy. Court documents are sealed at this time, so there is a lot that we don't know still about what happened on that night. But we do know that three young men and three juveniles are accused of murder and kidnapping. He was a son a brother, a grandson, a nephew, a cousin, and a friend to many. Everyone who knew him loved him. A statement from the parents of Preston Lord read in court by their lawyer. All eyes on 18-year-old William Hines, 20-year-old Dominic Turner, and 19-year-old Taylor Sherman. All the defendants involved in assaulting Preston ran after he was beaten. At a Halloween party in Queen Creek last October, 16-year-old Preston Lord was found on the road beaten badly and taken to a hospital with life-threatening injuries before his death two days later. Prosecutors say suspects tried to destroy evidence in the case. Taylor Sherman's lawyer tried to get his bond lowered. Mr. Sherman has no criminal history whatsoever. He's 19 years old. Um, he is employed and uh, is not, his family is not wealthy. After a months-long investigation, Queen Creek police say Hines, Turner, Sherman, along with 17-year-olds Talon Renner, Talon Vigil and Jacob Meisner are involved in Lord's murder. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office reviewed 2,000 pieces of evidence, including 600 videos, before presenting its case to an investigative grand jury. County Attorney Rachel Mitchell spoke to KTAR News this morning. This was There were so many potential witnesses and witnesses involved. No one thing. Hines was already in for three of aggravated assault stemming back to November of 2022, including a fight at a Gilbert in and out the next month. Court documents say he was caught on video punching a victim 10 times and told police earlier this year that he was part of a group of friends with a reputation. This development in the Lord case comes as Gilbert PD reopened several cases of violent teen assaults. Queen Creek Police Chief Randy Bryce says there's been collaboration between both agencies. There's a lot of crossover in individuals that either know each other or are involved in our case and their cases. Well, again, I can't say this enough is while I understand that the Gilbert Goons and that that moniker is 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 a real point of part of what we're seeing out here and a, an important piece of that. Our focus was specifically on the, the individuals involved in, in Preston's death. On Wednesday, Queen Creek Police swarmed the White Wing community in Gilbert with an arrest warrant for Talon Renner. The Renner name is familiar. Talon's father, Travis, was recently arrested on drug charges, and his older brother, Kyler, was arrested on multiple charges, including aggravated assault linked to a parking garage attack. It's important to note, Travis and Kyler have not been accused in the Preston Lord case. Mitchell says her office is not done with this investigation. If we find evidence that is sufficient to bring those charges, we will bring those charges. And again, Queen Creek PD did recommend charges for seven people in total. We will update you on whether or not that last person is charged. Meanwhile, Hines, Turner, and Sherman will be arraigned on the 13th. Currently, they are held on a $1 million cash bond. Live at MCAO, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News. Justin, thank you. And here's a look at the timeline of events leading up to those arrests that were made uh, just yesterday. So October 28th is when Preston Lord was assaulted outside of a Halloween party that happened in Queen Creek. And then two days later, 
Uh, let's take a look here. On October 30th, Preston Lord died at Phoenix Children's Hospital. On December 28th is when we first learned that Queen Creek Police had submitted charges against seven people. Now remember, at this point, we know six have been arrested, so another one could come here uh, with that number seven. Uh, and then on February 14th, the autopsy report finally came in, something that County Attorney Rachel Mitchell has said they really needed for this case to move forward in any way. So for people that were saying this has been taking a long time or a long time coming, she says they needed that information first. And then yesterday, March 6th, those first indictments and arrests were first announced. New this morning, we're learning the man behind a 2016 freeway shooting spree has died behind bars. Arizona Department of Corrections says James Walker took his own life while serving his sentence at the Arizona State Prison Complex in Tucson. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison for aggravated assault, armed robbery, and drug violations. Back in May of 2016, Walker shot at several cars along State Route 87. No one was killed as a result. However, several vehicles were damaged at least two people hurt as a result. Oh. One of the biggest questions in the murder of Preston Lord finally answered. Today, the county attorney tells us what led up to the deadly beating of the 16-year-old in Queen Creek. And so far, seven teens and young men have been indicted in this case. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum joining us live now with the latest. Justin. Lamar, Christina, now we are getting more insight from the official indictment of the seven defendants. We knew the attack on Preston Lord was senseless, but now we know the theft of a gold chain led to his murder. Preston, John Billy. The seventh arrest and indictment in Preston Lord's murder. 18-year-old Treston Billy appearing in court on charges of first-degree murder, kidnapping, and aggravated robbery after turning himself into authorities. But the specific charge of robbery is key. The official indictment reveals Billy, 20-year-old Dominic Turner, and 17-year-old Jacob Meisner are accused of stealing property from a victim in a group of people Lord was with during a Halloween party last year. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office confirming to Fox 10 that the suspect snatched a cheap gold chain, and that led to the attack on Lord, who died two days later. Prosecutors say suspects have colluded to try and destroy evidence over the months since Lord's death. Now all seven people Queen Creek Police submitted charges against are in custody and have been indicted. Billy, Turner, and Meisner, along with 18-year-old William Hines, 19-year-old Taylor Sherman, 17-year-old Talon Renner, and 17-year-old Talon Vigil, are all accused of first-degree murder and kidnapping. The indictment says all seven suspects committed kidnapping before causing the death of Preston Lord. Russ Richelsoff is a criminal defense attorney not associated with the case, but says the kidnapping term refers to the victim being restrained during the crime. I'm interested in, in seeing what... The evidence is I know that the police agencies involved spent a long time investigating these cases, and I know that there was a lot of public discontent. He says both prosecution and the defense have an immense amount of evidence to go through before trials, and there's still a lot to learn, as probable cause statements by Queen Creek Police have been sealed by the court. Could we see the state seek the death penalty? The one thing that stands out for me in these cases are the ages of the defendants. So if, if I think there's anything that keeps the state from filing a notice of intent to seek the death penalty, it will be... Uh, their ages. First degree murder cases are designated as complex cases in the Arizona court system, which Richelsoft says can take years. And it takes um, the attorneys on both sides a very long time to go through that evidence and, you know, review it, determine what it what there is, and then start arguing the legal portion of the case. And Treston Billy is set to have his arraignment on March 14th. And like his co-defendants, he's currently being held on a $1 million bond. Live at MCAO, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News. Justin, thank you. We have a breakdown now of the timeline in Preston Lord's murder and the arrests that have been made, along with coverage on other cases of teen violence on our website. Head to fox10phoenix.com slash teen violence.